more Princess Peach Showtime. So we can't go downstairs. So I guess the only thing left to do is to keep going upstairs. It seems like upstairs is where, like, we're just gonna keep going up and up. Kind of like this is almost a Castlevania game in a way. All right. So what do we have up here? Like a, a mystery. Oh, not was that cowboy? Here, we'll just do this. This is two, this is Sword Fighter Two. So let's do that. We should go left to right like we did before. I think we went left to right. The ghostly castle. Uh, if it ever loads. We are not pulling away in load times, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, you're on my side. Don't rush me like that. The castle is usually filled with people. I wonder what's going on here. It's haunted. This castle belongs to me now. All trespassers in my castle Whoa. shall fall. They don't even know her name's Peach. <laughs> Sword fighter. Please, you got to help us. Those fiends locked us up with dark powers. I'm counting on you. Can I just cut this? Okay. You can't just leave prison. Wait, where'd the bat go? What? Hang on. Oops. Perfect. It's a fake wall? Oh no, okay. Yeah, you can tell it's very basic. I, I remember what I thought like a, a day or two ago when I played this. It almost does look like a Kirby game. That definitely looks like a Kirby enemy, that's for sure. <laughs> Beautiful. No? Okay. The trap is that you cut too early, and then you can't climb up here, I'm guessing. Oh, no, there's always something. That's it? Why does it feel like there's totally something else here? Again, there's not that many buttons, so I'm just assuming that that's it then. Okay. Sword fighter, we're scared! Get us out of here! literally look like Yoshi enemies. How do you beat these guys? Okay. Can you even hit the bats? I don't even think you can. Oh, you can. Okay. Do you really just dodge with the attack button? I think you do. This is quite literally one button combat. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, okay, they're, they're fine. <laughs> yeah, I didn't miss anything. Okay. Think there's anything down there no it looks like it just fades so i'm just gonna assume that there's nothing down there oh, shit.
All right, I did it. We'll just take the hit. It's not a big deal. Hua. There you go. So I'm guessing each level gives a different item, basically. So before it was bow ties, now it's, I guess, like traditional ribbons. Okay, I didn't realize that they had treasure like that. Oh well. Kind of unfortunate. So if the chest crashes into the ground, then you don't get anything from it. Go back! Oh, the sword fighter! You're all right! You know, that does kind of look like an infographic that Zelda would have done in like one of, in like a game somewhere. Like definitely. I feel like they did that where Ganon was like really low res for some reason. Alright. Am I just supposed to not dodge him? <laughs> okay, now you, you probably have to hit him on the tail. Or do we, or what, do we direct him into a candle? Because we don't exactly have a ton of moves. So how the hell do we hit him? I don't think directing him into a candle is going to do anything. But, I mean, I could try. Yeah, see, he goes right into it. So it's definitely not dodging him, so I guess you do have to hit him on the back. Okay, well, I ran into him. Can I get him to come out this way? Like... Dude, this is like a really tight hitbox. I must be missing something. There's no way they would put this as the first boss. Like, what the fuck? This is, like, actually difficult, because you just repel off of him. Let me try jumping over him. Maybe you jump. Maybe there's two kinds of dodge. I don't think it, I don't think it matters that much. Oh, no. Never mind. All right. See, now that makes more sense. You have two kinds of dodging. You have offensive, which is just a basic dodge, and then you have that, which is fine. You actually jump over them. It's like a counter. Oops. Yes, please. They might have explained that. Maybe I just forgot. I'm just I was more surprised that you could actually just dodge with one button. Oh, too early. You slap him. It doesn't do any damage. You can just slap him one more time. Oh, shit. Can you just regen? I don't know. You regenerate if you stand long enough? Dude, what? I cannot do it when he comes at me. I can do it from the side. Ah! 
I could not do it when he flew directly at me. That is, is some weird depth perception I have. Despite my pitiful performance killing the boss, that wasn't too terrible. Stella Riven. Okay. So basically there's like four different plays going on, pretty much. I want to see what the ninja level is going to be. So we got scrolls last time, so I wonder what the next one's going to be. Like climbing a big mountain. This really is like Wario World. Almost to a T. It, it might have more levels and it might be a bit longer because Wario World is pretty short, but yeah. Thank you. Even though we didn't find the Sword Fighter Sparkla, the place soon to be back to normal. Uh oh. The real Sparkla was the one inside us all along. That belonged to the sword fighter Sparkla. I've heard that I've heard Sparkla's spirit is given to actors and trusted with starring roles. This is amazing. It means you've been recognized as having a sword fighter spirit. Can anyone hear me? Sounds like it's coming from the basement. Oh, that's a little bit of a run. So maybe in the basement there's like things we have to fill on the walls. I think there's like empty portraits. So we have to fill people in on portraits, probably by perfecting levels or something. <gasps> or I'm guessing they're doors. Yeah. Hmm. How strange, there wasn't anything like this in the basement before. I bet we could see things we couldn't before because you've been trusted with the sword fighter spirit. Anyone? Can anyone hear me? It's coming from there. All right, let's get in there. No, this is like bonus levels. this the stage says so bizarre now it's not like one of our plays at all Be careful as we continue there you go <laughs> so it's gonna be bonus levels which is cool Very nice. You can really start to notice a formula sort of appear with a lot of these different platformers that they're putting out lately. They all follow like a, a pretty general formula, so. I like how they're all being pulled by like strings, so they're like puppets, they're like marionettes. <laughs> and now I'm unstuck. I was stuck back here, now I'm unstuck. Someone please!
It's the Swordfighter Sparkle. Don't worry, we're here to help. That outfit. Who are you? And is that Stella? Be careful. This place is. 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 Of course. In the name of Madam Grape, I will defeat you. Wow, that's just a flat out defeat in Smash Brothers. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Very nice. So I wonder when you want to use the B dodge then. I was waiting for her to run up automatically. That's very weird they let you do that. That sword is longer than the scabbard. How how does this even work? Anyway. A surprise attack? What a cowardly move. Okay. Nice. Thank you very much. So this is the third one for this area. Okay, so it's Sword Fighter Three, a multicolored Sword Fighter ribbon. So what's the purpose of this? Maybe you get like extra moves or something. Oh, let's see. Because we already have like a lot of the basic ribbons. I wonder if it's like upgrades, like we get extra moves. We thought they imprisoned the sparklers on their own stages. So this means we can rest, save the rest of the sparklers by restoring their plays. Thank you both for saving me. They robbed me of my powers and trapped me. Those fiends. Now I will resume my role protecting others. Allow me to express my gratitude once more. Thank you. Let's head back to the second floor. So it just happens that we did that first. So maybe every once in a while we, we can come down here and there's something else. Alright. What do these guys even sell? Let's see. A customer. If I interest you in some wonderful dresses, I take coins as payment. I have lovely ribbons for you as well, Stella. Alright. There's just different kinds of outfits you could wear. It's all cosmetics. But you know what? That's pretty cool. I like that they have something to get, right? Radiant's not terrible. It's, it's a little bright at the top. But Disco is a little bit too showy. We'll do Gradient, sure. Nice. I guess it's all cosmetics. <laughs> you can just change Stella's outfit. 
We'll do light blue, sure. I'm gonna forget that this isn't her default outfit soon enough. I wonder if you could buy different outfits for the costumes. Maybe not. It seems like there's only one, uh... It seems like there's only Showtime. one store. The other ones have alternating staircases, but I guess we'll see. The perfect infiltration. I'm sorry, I, I am gonna try to fix this chair. It's just a little unfortunate. It, it, I gotta tighten the screws again, which I, I don't have that like hexagonal tool on me and I need to find it. Well, look at all the weird posters. Dude, she's the fucking Phantom Thieves. What? This game is getting ridiculous now. You. Not the worst one I've ever had to do. Maybe Mask the Dashing Thief could stop them. The Sour Thieves are up to no good. Okay. Uh oh, it's the Phantom Thieves! We gotta get to the jewelry store. All right, well, it's a little too late for that. <laughs> they can't get away with this. They can't keep getting away with this. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm helping. I'm here. I don't worry, I'm gonna do it. Obviously, I see this. Okay, spotlight will do the trick. What is the spotlight going to do? Ah, uh, sure. I don't even know how you're supposed to understand how that works, but it, it works. Whoa! I managed to slip past those guards, huh? With those kinds of skills, then perhaps... Follow me, will ya? This way. This is the spot. I've got a good feeling about you. Yep, you should be the right one for the job. We welcome you to our secret society. We're secret agents who protect the city. You think you can activate the devices? You mean these? This game is so weird, man. <laughs> so I guess there's gonna be more than four powers, huh? We're gonna have Phantom Thief. Mask's power awaits you. I, I was half kidding, but I, I guess I wasn't wrong. We're an expert hacker too. Now imagine if you were using these powers in like a 3D environment like Mario 64. I think that would have made this game way more fun and way more interesting, personally. Like every world is like a, a miniature like Mario's Odyssey kind of level. 
I don't know. I think it would be a little bit better that way. Okay, well, not that way. The grind rail, oh my god. There you go. So we're gonna peep their head out a window. What was down here? Was there even anything down there? Oh fuck. Well, maybe there was something over there. I didn't I didn't do anything. I didn't look for it. Oops. I am the worst thief imaginable. <laughs> what is it? Mm. Press B in front of a lock to disable. Oh, okay, you can just walk up and, un and, and hack it. There you go, watchdogs. actually can't jump up to that. Okay. You kind of can't jump as high. There you go. I feel like that's a laser that would have fired in a Sonic game, honestly. Like in a rouge level specifically. Dude, how do I get over this? You know what, I'll just take the hit. It's fine. Oh, it's temporary? Oh, I lost all that HP for nothing then. I thought it was permanent. Right. Oh, oops. How does he see you if you're behind it? Right? We are behind it. Am I losing my mind? It looks like we are 100% behind it. I don't think we could get onto that, right? We are behind it. We are not behind it. What the fuck? This is the weirdest level by far. Oh, good lord, it's Resident Evil 4. <laughs> How do you get up there? Dude, I, I think I'm just gonna beat this level. I, I don't think I'm pacing this level at all. I think this is gonna be my worst level by far. I never said I was going to do well. I, I did horribly on this level. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, very nice. Can we unlock it? Yeah, there we go. Yes. I like how they could sense you through walls. So, all right. That was uh, a level. I'll say that much. You did it. You got all the jewels back. Uh-oh. And now it's time to make your escape. There you go. <laughs> what is it, an auto scroller? Oh my god, super elaborate death traps. Okay. Okay, well, he was just there when I was there, so. Very nice. You know there has to be an end of level boss fight. I don't know what it's gonna be. It might just be running away, but it's gotta be something. You know what? I like that they mix that up. Now they can go back to charging a ton of money for jewels instead of someone just stealing it. Yes. Makes me wonder why they never made like a Lupin the Third game. That seems like such a shoe in since Lupin the Third is like really popular. I think it's more popular in France than America though. For obvious reasons. Apparently Italy loves JoJo. Like, like, it's so weird, like, realizing or finding out that all these other countries really love a lot of these, like, I guess more sideshowy anime and manga. But Lupin the Third is fucking cool, man. Poor Zenigata, though. Uh, ice? Oh, no. Figure skating? Oh, fuck and magnifying glass the case of the missing mural so we're gonna have to become an actual detective now games i only have so many hours in my life <laughs> everyone here looks scared but why the detective here always solves the mysteries and keeps people feeling safe as we feel like safe here lately what would i do if i was attacked uh nothing you're probably screwed fork over everything you got All right, you can still grab it even from the next screen. Hit him. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, you're really brave. Where could the police be? I could pitch in too. <laughs> the police are too busy doing other stuff. Yeah, the museum's closed today. This is urgent. There's been a threat. I'll be taking point on looking into it. A junior detective like you can't handle this. Well, what are you idiots doing? We have two actual bozos doing nothing. There you go. Don't give up. These guys are idiots. I just need a new plan. Will you come with me? The detective is out right now. Star... Oh, from left to right. Here he goes. Dude, they had this exact puzzle in a... What was it called? In Assassin's Creed Mirage, but it was kind of ambiguous how to actually solve it. 
And I remember being stuck on that for like 10 minutes or something, maybe 20 minutes. Very nice. Can't break the crates, okay. Now what kind of power is this going to give us? Like just Inspector Gadget type powers? How did Inspector Gadget never catch on? That shit seems so cool. I know they make that joke about Adam Jensen being like Inspector Gadget. Someone should actually do it. Detective Peach. Well, yes. <laughs> Wait, where'd the junior detective go? Okay. It's the detective's desk, and it looks like there's a note here. A strike of intuition. We should read the note! You'll lose hearts if you guess wrong with your strike of intuition. Since we're practicing, you won't lose hearts if you guess wrong here. Oh my god. Are you serious? There's no on the floor. Let's see here. If you're a true detective, you'll find me. Junior. Those are some fluffy cushions. Yeah, so he's hiding here, so this is obvious. Nothing gets past you, detective. You can really, you, can, you really can detect things with your strike of intuition. Now, come on, a mystery awaits us. Let's go. I don't know why I tried to inspect this. <laughs> It's a big wooden crate. Wonder what's inside. Well, obviously we can't break it, so we have to. I guess this is our only way of inspecting or doing anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Elementary, dear Watson. Don't let anyone pass. Oh, it's the detective. Please, go on inside. There you go. Yes. Detective, you came. You're just in time. The curator is waiting in the next room. Uh, I'm sorry, in the room next door. It's a shellfish fossil that was discovered nearby. This area was submerged in water long ago. It's a stone slate carved with ancient text. Maybe the oldest example of the written word. They locked up the museum and now I can't go home. That officer won't let anyone leave. I wonder what's going on. No, I want to inspect. Leaf of a sparkle gem. It seems they were valued by important people in the past, too. It's a fractured stone slab. They're restoring it bit by bit in order to make it legible. I'm just a staff member. If you're looking for information, you should talk to the curator. Apparently, the characters hanging on this scroll can only be understood by ninja. Talk to the curator first. Interviews are the foundation of a good investigation. Oh my god, they left a Phantom Thieves note! Detective, you're here, thank goodness. You see, a threatening note has been placed in the Thipoda Thie Moral. It reads, we're coming for the Thipoda Moral. Consider yourselves warned. If something were to happen to our mural. What is this, a power outage? Yeah. 
You bad! The mural, it's gone! You have to track down the culprit. On it. Stolen the instant things went dark. How maddening. The damage makes it impossibly sure, but it's believed to be a diagram of some ruins. Super scared of the dark, I was cleaning that officer over there during the entire outage. No one passed through this door during the outage, but that staff member grabbed onto me, so I couldn't have moved if I wanted to. Alright, well, their stories line up. The window was latched tight, so how'd they get in here? It's a locked window. It was so dark I couldn't see well. I felt someone brush past me as they went into the room on the left. Hodge was insane. I hope the mummies are okay. Terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Just want to go home. The slate's tilted now. Yeah, it wasn't like that before. And now it's rocking. It seems like you could move it. Yeah, we're playing like a 90s point and click adventure. Like a very simplified one. Okay. It's an air duct. Maybe the culprits use this. Let's see what's inside. The display case is broken. The items on display here were the fandangled masks of disguise. Wearing one of these masks allows its wearer to alter their appearance. Of course, the culprits must be using these masks to disguise themselves. Treasure chest. Certain those fiends are in here somewhere. Surely the culprits are in disguise. Let's collect clues and find them. It's a diamond's key. Knows of truth. It says anyone who smells of deceit will meet a terrible end. One of my precious cameras I sell here is missing. It was right here before the power went out. I haven't seen anyone suspicious. Well, he's holding a camera, so is this good enough? Right? Like, he's using, he's holding a camera that he shouldn't. Thank you. I was going to say, am I going to be wrong about this? <laughs> Get him! It was their closing camera that gave them away. Nice work. It's one more thief remaining, but I'm sure you'll be able to catch them. Well, the camera was the easy part, because he's right over there telling you that. Why is there a new statue? There were only two before. No one has come or gone through here. Well, that's not true, but anyway. See a statue with the sunglasses? That one's the real deal. Nothing out of the ordinary here. There's a wood carving of a bird. In the past, it was used. It was also used in festive celebrations. Treasure chest. Is that it? And no, your jump is very nerfed in this, so you, you don't have like a crazy good jump. I don't think there's anything to inspect. Alright. It's 
shut tight. Model of a burial site for an important person. There's said to be power in the pyramid shape. Before it got dark, there was an officer in here. Where did they go? There you go, the diamonds key. Yeah, so this is how you would have found it out. Because he, uh, he's, you know, he's missing his clothes. If you're getting out of there, I may not look at but I'm actually an officer. Someone tagged me, stole my uniform, and locked me in there. It was all black after that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Currently, a hero holding a round shield. The hero fought with nothing but the shield. Mm. Huh? Popcorn, I wonder if someone dropped it. Popcorn. Someone stole my popcorn. The nerve. Well, this guy says the one with the sunglasses is the real deal, though. You can't press anyone on anything. So, I mean, which one would be the fake? I mean, we have enough HP to guess literally all of them, right? So one of the popcorns is stolen. I'm just gonna go with this one because this is obviously the one that has the the centers of the two great playwrights. Apparently they watched a play together over a single bag of popcorn. Let's try this. This is where the footsteps end. So if, if we're wrong, then we're wrong. It's, it's not a huge deal. Well, if they watched it over a single bag of popcorn, then it has to be the other one that has popcorn, then. So that guy wasn't lying. He was telling the truth. All right. That was one bag of popcorn too many. Excellent work, detective. Round them all up. Let's go speak with the museum curator. Okay. So how do you open this sarcophagus? Hold on, wait, we, no, we went down here. Oh no, we didn't, Never mind. Yeah, I have no idea, I have no idea where this is. Spade? Spade and diamond, so there's a spade key somewhere that we need to know to grab, but I have no idea where it is. Oh. <laughs> I wonder how crazy this is going to be. This might get to L.A. Noir levels on, like, the last one or two. Alright, use the spade key. Alright. Tell the truth. Tell us where the mural is. We don't know nothing. Because if we tell you, we hid it somewhere in the museum. It's still inside the museum, then. Uh, I mean, I don't know nothing. <laughs> if it isn't a detective, you arrived at the perfect time. Thanks, you've got all the culprits in custody. However, we still don't know where the mural is. You have to find it. Side doors open? Okay, yeah. Huh? Looked everywhere. My sweet mummies. We already went over the mummies. Ah. <laughs> it's 
so stuffy in here. If only we could open a window. It's too high up, we could reach it with a stepping stool. I like how now it changes it. Here we go. You go to the back room, now I can get the stepping stool. Gotcha. it what the fuck there you go <laughs> what well, it made the most generic wood sound that was pretty funny i'm not gonna lie okay here we go let's try opening the window oh my god they just put it behind a curtain are you serious Something written on the wall where the mirror was hanging from. We've taken we've taken the thepo the is it the thepoda or thepoda? Anyway, it's dude, it's a curtain. They didn't take it anywhere. Oh my god, we're idiots. We're all idiots. They literally didn't even move it. It's right exactly where it was the whole time. We're just stupid. They literally didn't even take it. So the mirror was here all along. It was never stolen. Oh yeah, you have my eternal gratitude for everything you've done for my museum. I was sure the plan was foolproof. They're, what are they gonna do? Wait for the museum to close and then go back and grab it? Like, what was this plan? We did it. Watching you unravel this mystery was truly inspiring. And the case is really, is really, is really closed. Yeah, it's really closed. <laughs> Thank you so much. Alright. Very nice. Well, we got it perfectly, so that's gotta count. I was like, no, I didn't find the bow tie. Oh my god. It was definitely somewhere. I don't know. Okay, hold on, let me do this. Okay, my apologies, let's continue. We'll just do this floor because it's pretty much all the time I have. So let's do this. What was that, snow flower on ice? All right, these are gonna be the worst levels in the game, unless there's like an underwater level, maybe. Fuck, the loading is really weird in this game. It takes a long time and the frame rate drops. <laughs> Very nice. The ice show is going to start soon. Maybe this play is safe? Come on. What do you think? This is going to be so much fun. Fantastic. They're so lovely. There you go. Let's make it festive in here. Like it's Christmas all over again. Okay. Man, I love the Christmas season. I did like it better when I was older, though. Or when I was older, when I was younger. I don't know. It was more magical. They would have all the stuff on, like the, how the Grinch stole Christmas and stuff like that. And great time. Anyway, here comes real life to ruin it. Now you can't get there. No show for you. I, I, yeah, I, I touched him. I don't know why it didn't work. Whatever. There you go. Don't despair. Am I gonna get some ice skates? Like, what the hell? The performance is a disaster! 
Oh, they hard force you to go in there. Okay, there is literally nothing else to do out here. <laughs> Time to check out our show! We're all the actual dancers. We've got to do something. We don't have enough dancers. Where are the other dancers? Where are they? What was that scream? It came from the dressing room? Is the dressing room also on ice? That's kind of a half shit pose, a little bit. What's all this? Where is everyone? They're inside the snowman. Thanks, you're really giving my spins a boost. Thank you. Because of you, the show can go on. Oh, I've got an idea. Wait right there. You think maybe you'd perform with us? That's the figure skater sparkle. We could use it to take the show back. Yeah, so maybe there's like, what was it, 10 different powers? I think there were 10 doors downstairs. So that's actually kind of cool. There's 10 different powers, but probably, what, a maximum of 20 levels? Assuming that there's, what, like, five floors with four on each? I knew this would work out. Let's go take back our show. What was it gonna be QTEs? It's the real dancers. That's like a Zelda sound effect. The real dancers have returned. Now moment we've all been waiting for, let the performance begin. Jump exhibition. Mm. Line up with one of the markers on the ice and put on a dazzling display with B or A. Yeah. So this is jumping. Yeah. The spin. Yeah. So you spin on the snowflakes and you yeah. jump on the light. Okay. Gotcha. Absolutely divine. Synchronized skating. Oh, no. Press B near the dancers to pair skate. Glide on the ice together. There you go. So you can gather everyone together like that. Gotcha. This is going to be insanely intricate. Sparkling spin and jump. How are you supposed to get to that fast enough? You have to be there when it spawns. <laughs> you have to be there when it spawns. Or otherwise, there's not enough time. Oh, my God. Yeah, have, have mercy on the person going for the 100% in this game. Hopefully, you don't have to do it all in one run. But imagine if you mess that up. Like, can you even retry? You're about to replay the whole level just for another shot. Uh-oh. Oh. 
Ta-da! I know you've all been waiting for me. Come on over here. Why me? Now you're all mine. And with that, time for the big show on the big stage. They went that way. You can hold it? Hold on. Why would they have her only voice some lines and not others? I don't know. That's really weird to me. I never understood that about a lot of these games. Like, if you're gonna voice some lines, why not just voice everything? It's not like this game has a ton of dialogue. You know, it's, it's pretty sparse. At least if Peach is gonna be voiced. I don't know, they have random voice lines. Oh, you can't hit it at all. Nope. Well, it doesn't hurt you, but yeah. Very nice. Pretty sure that's how you get the new outfits. So I missed an outfit in that one level. Man, I would have had this level perfect, dude. You have to get to that middle part where they both join and you can hit two at once. Ugh. I would have had it. All right, this guy looks cool. <laughs> Welcome to my stage. Are you here to help the dancers? Good luck, you won't match my skills. Exactly, are we doing? Yeah. Right after him. <laughs> Here, spin him. He can't skate. All right, we have all the dancers. How dare you! Yeah, now finish him. Uh oh. Such beauty as he dies. <laughs> At least I die happy in such radiance. What a funny game, actually. <laughs> You know this game is going to be forgotten about. I mean, it already came out in March. I'm playing it super late. This game is definitely getting turbo fucking memory hold. Just like the last Princess Peach game. That one for other reasons entirely. This will just be another platformer on the Switch, which has a lot of them. Which isn't bad, but it's just going to be another platformer, you know? Like, maybe in 20 years, I'll look back and I'll be like, Oh, you know, this is one of those late Switch era games. You know, they just kind of threw out a lot of them. It was cool to have a lot of diversity, but yeah. And that's the number one association I'm going to make is, it's like Wario World. And then I'll have to explain what Wario World is in 2042. I'm gonna be like, yeah, 40 years ago, it was a GameCube game called Wario World, and I played it when I was seven or eight. And then I had a 100% save file, and then I, my memory card wiped, and I lost all of it, which was fantastic. Let's blast open this door with the power of sparkle. Can you give me some of the sparkle gems you collected? Fifth, only need 15. Okay, yeah, this is. Don't worry, we're, we're fine. Huh? <laughs> All right, so last time it was a disco ball bird. 
Wonder what it's going to be this time. Well, well, if it isn't the scared little ruins who've been scurrying to and fro about my theater. You look like a Rayman villain, seriously. So what do you think of my productions? Have you been enjoying my terrifying show? Answer that later. A little bird told me that you two have been kicking up some dust. I also heard you managed to save a sparkler and went to great pains to imprison. <laughs> Your efforts are adorable, but saving one puny sparkler doesn't change anything. <laughs> Fang! Entertain our pesky guests, will you? I'd like to review their performance. Oh, okay. Light Fang. Oh my god, it's the fucking Scarecrow shit. It's literally the Scarecrow boss fight from Arkham Asylum. Are you serious? I'm not even kidding. But I guess you have to ask the question, how many people who are gonna play this game have played Arkham Asylum? Load him up. <laughs> and I don't say that as a bad thing. I actually like this style of boss. It is interesting. It was the, one of the most interesting parts of Arkham Asylum, so... Like, I'm not faulting... I'm not saying it's bad or anything. Uh, is that literally the Breath of the Wild shit? Nope. Can't see me. Ah, I was so close. <laughs> This is definitely the easiest out of all the platformers on the Switch, though. I think Crafted World is just going to be the undisputed champion. Yeah. Crafted World letting you replay the levels in reverse is amazing level design. That's going to be untouched, I think, for a lot of platformers. I'm already beyond that, buddy. I'm speed running this shit. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, now throw him off the clock tower. That, no joke, might have been one of the easiest bosses I think I've had to face in a game in a long time. As cool as it is, and as much of a throwback as it is, it's like the antithesis of the Batman fight, where Scarecrow sees you and it's just instant death. Here it's, oh, uh, well, you could beat him out once he sees you, and it doesn't deal that much damage, you know? Because it's, this game's on a heart system.
But like every hit should take one heart. I don't like when they give you hearts in a game. Like, I don't know. Jack and Daxter 2 is really bad about that. Or was it Jack? It's one of those Jack and Daxter games. They give you like four hit points or eight hit points and everything takes two hit points. So it's like, okay, well then why, why not just make my life bar have four hit points? You know, it doesn't make any sense. It's like, okay, whatever. So Grape is the one responsible for all the trouble in our beautiful theater. She and her motley bunch are ruining our plays. I won't stand for this. We can't allow them to do whatever they want to our beloved theater. Let's restore the rest of the plays as quickly as we can. All right. Let's see what we have down here. I don't know. I feel like if this was like a Mario 64 type thing, I don't know. I think I would like it a little better. I know that's like a complete shift. But, like, I think that just, that's why Mario 64 works so well, you know? All right, what do we have for Peach now? The Fang Dress. And that's it, okay. Yeah, Vertical Stripe and Horizontal Stripe are a little cheesy. I think Gradient is just the best. Two-Tone isn't bad either. What's her basic one? How do you go back to her basic one? I have no idea. The special sword fighter one isn't bad either. All right. We'll probably do black later, maybe. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to go back to the original. Unless, unless it is the two-tone is the original. Maybe I'm, I, I don't know. 